Hey everyone, welcome back to Magic Farm 2. Last episode, we set ourselves up a new little farm. We got like tomatoes, lettuce. <laughs> um, what all do we have here? What is this? I've already forgotten. We have sweet potatoes. Awesome. I'm going to harvest those. Uh, we do have some lettuce, it looks like, matured. Cool. Got a little bit of lettuce. I'm going to go ahead and craft these into seeds so I can finish planting these. I guess I only needed four. That's all right. We'll get plenty more very soon. Uh, what do we have here? Don't know. I believe these are turnips. Yep. And definitely need some more of those. And I believe these are beans. Yeah, there we go. Let's go ahead and plant those as well. So I'm going to keep working on trying to get this farm all the way down to the other end. Plant it with you know, rows of what we have here so far. I think we have um, tomatoes. I think these are sweet peas, I think. And then the sweet potatoes. Not sure. <laughs> I've already forgotten what all each one is. Uh, but we got some really cool stuff. Um, I think there's some celery in there somewhere and such. I've also, as you guys can see, worked on my fence perimeter a little bit. Um, this time I decided to go ahead and bring it in at an angle instead of just being straight. Um, for a couple of reasons. One, I think it looks <laughs> a little bit nicer, in my opinion. It adds a little bit of character to the whole fence around the base thing. <laughs> Plus, I didn't want it directly underneath the uh, Great Wood Tree here. I'm kind of wanting to leave that one here because I think that one looks pretty good compared to some of the other ones that we've actually grown so far. So I think I might leave that one out front. And um, I don't know, mobs might have a chance of spawning up there and I don't want them to... Um, have such an easy time of getting into my yard, so <laughs> that's another reason why I kind of pulled it back a little bit. Are you done? No, you're not. Well, since we have a little bit of food, let's um jump into the kitchen. There's a few things that I wanted to do that I didn't really do when I was working on the kitchen. Um, hello? Anyone there? I think there's someone in my basement. Hello? Where is he at? Is he in the basement? Oh, there's something hiding somewhere. Okay, this is gonna be in I know where he's at. He's under the staircase. They're in the walls. I knew it. <laughs> All right then. Um, you know, I'm just gonna put a torch back here for safe measures. Then there we go. That should solve that problem. <laughs> I hope. All right. Well, one of the other things that I've been wanting to work on is getting some shelves in here. I didn't even think about that when I was putting this kitchen together. Um, I kind of wouldn't mind grabbing the like uh, cooking materials like the uh, pot all this stuff that I have here from Pam's harvest craft I wouldn't mind getting all of this like on some shelves in here so let's was that on the inside or the outside of the fence <laughs> I tried to do my best to light all this up but as you guys can see we got the uh, back whoa I'm glad I didn't look at that guy by the tree Fred shush looking at that crazy thing over there whoa hello Fred likes hitting doors. He has a disease. Fred, if you break that door, I will beat you. Okay, well, I guess I already did beat you, but that's beside the point. Well, maybe it is the point. I don't know. Should I try to kill that thing over there? Hmm. I guess I can't worry about it forever. He looks kind of worrisome. He's shiny and... Hey, I'm looking at you. Come on. Come on. I'm going to back away from the noise because it's kind of funky. You... You look kind of cool. <laughs> da! Wait, what? Oh, you're tricky. If you touch my farm, I will destroy you. What? Stop making noises. Haha, -ha, I hit you. You are gonna die, aren't you? What? Oh, he's behind me. Come on. Die. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was real smart. You just reset yourself, doofus. <laughs> I'm just gonna port into water. Brilliant job, doofus. Ha! Wait, what? Really? 
You dropped gold. <sighs> Worthless. <laughs> Is it done? Yeah, nice. We got some more lettuce. Perfect. I have to keep an eye on that farm. I do want to get working on uh, a sort of automation for that. I don't know if it'd be like full automation or of sorts, but um, I would like to start working on a part where I don't have to be out there constantly supervising it. Um, but I did add these two ovens or these two furnaces here above the ice box. I don't know if I'm going to leave them, but I would like to get some shelves in here from Bibliocraft. So let me clean up my inventory, namely getting rid of that and that. Don't really want the bow anymore. Guess I won't really need the sweet potatoes. Um, well, sweet potato seeds. Alright, let's go ahead and put the zombie brain away. Extra bones in there. And I think I might go with a spruce shelf. So let's grab like 15 of these. We'll make some. Nope, nope, nope. Stop. Some slabs. There we go. And if I remember correctly, I think it's like this. No, maybe that. There we go. Spruce shelves. Five of them. That should be fine. All right, let's um, kind of start experimenting where I want these to be placed. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I like the height. I think three up from the floor, like on the third block, is nice. But on the window, I don't think so. And I think above the window, I think it would just look weird. So, I don't know. That might not be too bad. Plus, considering where it's at, which is above, you know, all the counters here, it might be kind of cool, but what about, like, here, and just using four? Let's give this a try. We'll put that there, we'll put the pot on top, pass on mortar, cutting board... Bakeware. Is that missing something? Oh, mixing bowl. Put that over here. Yeah, that'll work. I like that. I was thinking about putting them on the countertops, but then, like, it didn't actually, like, render the item on there. I didn't really like that. <laughs> if it rendered the item on top of the countertop so I could visually see what was where, I think that would be a lot nicer. But I think in this instance, um, I think this will work out just fine. Cool. All right, well, I want to try out some stuff. Let's see. Let's grab some wheat. Grab 30 pieces of that. Uh, pestle and mortar. I think if we combine these two together, we'll get flour. Oops, nope. I want you there. Now, what do we use this for specifically? Cakes, obviously. Dough. Branded pork chop. That sounds good. <laughs> A breaded pork chop. That's just or dictionary. Gingerbread. Banana nut bread. Ooh. That sounds delicious. Fried chicken. Awesome. Might have to do that at some point. Alright, I think I think we went dough. Because then we can start making some of this other stuff like... Hmm. A lot of pies for sure. I don't know. Someone was saying something about making bread. Hold on, let me see. Alright, so we got that bread. We have the dough. The flour. Is that just by taking the wheat and placing it in your inventory? Like this? No, that gives you seeds. Or are they talking about toast? Hmm. So that's how you make bread. Maybe you have to make it into bread first? I don't know. Just guessing here, guys. All right, let's make a little bit of bread. I did put some coal in there, but I guess it's gone. Got a little bit in here. 
Let me put one in there. I think that's going to start heating up now, if I'm not mistaken. Is that where you put it? Okay, it doesn't go in the center. Oh, that's a limiter. Ah, I gotcha. Is that going to do anything? I wonder if that's actually going to, like, cook in there. Or maybe you just put it in an actual furnace? Okay, it's doing something in there. I don't know if that's going to do anything. So what's this going to make for us? Toast! Nice! I don't know if that's going to do anything. Maybe because I don't think that's going to do anything because it's not maybe a part of agriculture? I'm not sure. I really don't know. Like I said, I don't know anything about agriculture, so... I'm not completely sure on that. So I'm going to just go ahead and throw the rest of the uh, bread in there. And I'm down two hunger bars on my hunger meter, if you guys can see down there. I'm going to go ahead and eat this. Let's see how much this does. It does at least two. So that's not bad. I can live with that. Cool. Then I have a lot of wheat. All right. We'll go ahead and put that away for now. I think we'll start putting some of the um, stuff we have from our farm back into this one right here. All right, let me clean up a little bit, and I think we're going to get started working on a little bit more thumb craft. Hmm. Do need to pick up my inventory a little bit. This needs to go in here. That goes there. Let's go ahead and put the scythe in there. I really need to make some sort of a tool area for all my tools. I think we'll do that. Put, put the spruce shelf away, the spruce... Logs. I'm going to hold on to the um, fencing materials for now. And I also went ahead and drained my smeltery of all the iron. So we got 26 blocks of iron. Um, I did manage to get a little bit more lead out of it. So looking pretty good there so far. I'm going to put the dolly in there too. All right. Let's go ahead and get started on some thumb craft. Now what I've been wanting to do is actually move all of this here upstairs into the actual thumb craft room that I've been wanting to uh, use. So let's go ahead and do that. You, you, I'm taking the night tour with me. <laughs> I'm taking it with me. There we go. That should work for now. Let me go ahead and grab my toast. It's awesome. Now, actually, hold on. What can we use toast for? I'm a little curious. Grilled cheese. Ooh. And that's a hearty meal, too. So what do we need to do to make cheese? Uh, milk, which we have plenty of cows. Pot and salt. Hmm. Grilled cheese could be a nice little meal. All right, we'll get to that soon. <laughs> I wouldn't mind getting a, um, what is that? Um, from It's mine factory reloaded. It actually milks the cows for you. I've lost... Uh, all my mind of what that actually was. Not mind. I just typed in mind. Wow. Good job, Bentley. <laughs> oh, wow. These are actually uh, replant. Ah, Rancher. That's what it was. Retextured. I actually like the textures on these, too. I like them, personally. I think they look pretty nice. Um. Oh, yeah. What do we have? The Lava Fabricator. That, that one's a little bit more of a pain, considering um, we have the... Magma Crucible, that one works a lot better, in my opinion. Making lava, that is. Um, Alright, anyways, yes. Thumbcraft, go, stuff, do. <laughs> Alright, we need to go upstairs. I think uh, I might start getting some pressure plates soon, too. Alright, so on this side, this is going to probably wind up being something else a little bit later on. I have some ideas for that. This, in itself, though is going to be our Thomcraft room. I'm hoping this is going to be big enough. And is it even odd? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. <laughs> I don't really like that. It's eight wide. Hmm. 
I might have to rework that a little bit later on. Possibly. We'll see. But for now, let's go ahead and get this area set up. So I want at least my research table here. You know what? That's fine. I want this on the opposite side. There we go. Now, the problem that we're going to come into with the crucible is when we do this. I don't know. Actually, we might be able to do that if we switch these spots here. Perfect. So we'll be able to hide the night tour underneath there because we just so happen to have the um, like support downstairs um, that's where it's um, against the wall underneath the um, or actually above the kitchen down there so it'll be able to hide that nicely I think we'll put that there cool alright so now we can get started with a little bit more thumb crap let's open up our thumbonomicon and I'm gonna head down towards Gallimancy and I think to get started in Gallimancy, we might have to get the Hungry Chest, which we have the Aspects for to purchase this, asp or this um, I guess, research. Yeah, research completed, Hungry Chest. But we still need this one, Strong Golems. So let's grab our scribing tools. We need a little bit of paper, so let's come down and grab some of that. Grab half a stack. Let's grab two of these a little bit of ink actually a feather and a glass bottle not both of them one of them you greedy little guy alright and I got these so I can make me another chest for upstairs here we go and we'll place him down right there for the time being Okay. I'm going to go ahead and make me another set of scribing tools for one. Ding. And I'll put these in here. And then these, I believe we can actually repair that with an ink sack. So there we go. Leave the ink in there. Leave a little bit of paper in there. Now we can do some research in our Thaumonomicon. Namely, the straw golems. There we go. Research added. Let's see if we can do this real quick. Hopefully this isn't too bad. Okay. That, that doesn't look horrible. At least we have all the aspects we need. So this is Herba and Humanus. Permutatio is Modus. So I could do this a little easily. And maybe... Try to connect these up like this. But now I have to hook up Spiritus somehow. Spiritus is where at? Right there, and that is made of Victus and Mortis. And Victus is Terra. Is Permutatio Terra. No, Permutatio is that. That is air and water. Okay, okay. I kind of see it. So if we go there to Victus, that can take us to water, which is what makes up Permutatio. Or Aqua. Sorry. So there we go. We got that connected. Now we just need to connect up to Messus. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Guys... <laughs> I, I, I know I'm probably pronouncing some of these things completely wrong, but I try to point at this stuff so you guys know what I'm at least trying to describe. So um, this is what? Herba? So Herba. Herba's made up of Terra and let's see. Permutatio. Hmm. Wait, Humanus, Humanus, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is Cognito. Let me pull that back. Let's do Humanus to Cognito. And then 
Is he... Where was I going with that? <laughs> Hold on, wasn't there a aspect? See, that's instrumentum. I think there was something that kind of linked over to permutatio this way. Also, another way we can look into this is if we go into our Thaumonomicon, if you remember aspects of magic here, I guess if you don't have the research, you know, for it, um, I think, um, so to be able to see this um, above here, which I believe is like ba the basic research in the Thaumonomicon, which I believe is here, research expertise, um, and then there's research mastery. If you don't have that, I guess you can go here into aspects of magic, and I think this might be able to help out a little bit too. I don't know if that's unlocked. Um, normally, but I think um, these unlock, I believe. Oh, and you hover over and it tells you what you scanned with it. So I believe these are just unlocked um, when you scan stuff. All right. So let me figure this last one out real quick. Ah, there we go. Um, so if we go to back to Herba, that's made up of Granum, which I could put right here. And Modus, oh wait, no, Modus isn't. What is about Permutatio? Hmm. Anyway, this is made up of Victus, and I can take basically the same route we did to Spiritus. And we can go to Aqua, and then Victus. There we go. That works too. Straw Golems. Research completed. Straw Golems. That wasn't too bad. All right, so if we go down... Oh, we actually opened up uh, a lot more stuff. Nice. So I'm pretty sure we're going to need the Golemancer's, uh, Golemancer's Bell. Um... And then we have the cores here for the golems. Uh, then the wooden golems down here as well. So we can just unlock that. So it's pretty easy, I guess, to get into golemancy, which is kind of cool. Um, Golem core of gathering, which is one of the ones I do want, and harvest. So these are the two I want to pretty much get. Um, actually, no, these are unlocked. Or at least this one's unlocked. I need to unlock this one. So let's see how bad this one is. Oh, well, that is pretty bad. I'm going to have to do some research between episodes and figure out, or actually scanning, and figure out what I'm actually missing. Let me get my um, thermometer out. I like to call it the thermometer. I think it's funny. <laughs> it's, yeah. Come on, really? <laughs> anyway, I'm just messing around, having some fun. But we do need to get these guys hooked up. So this is what Terra and Modus, and then Herba and Humanus. So I kind of might be able to see it. Yeah, I see it. Okay. We'll do that a little bit later because I do need to figure out what this third aspect is. But at least we do have ourselves a little bit of Gallimancy unlocked. And I wouldn't mind messing around getting some... Um, golems made up. Now, this is just a very basic golem here. Uh, we need a hay bell, humanus, modus, and spiritus in a crucible. And then we throw in hay bell, and that'll give us a straw golem. Uh, very low durability, very low strength, average zone for pair, um, can only carry one thing at a time. He's very fast and only has one upgrade. Hmm. I don't think a. Straw Golem is going to be really what I want for that. Maybe for actually harvesting, that might work out pretty well. Because he's fast, he could move around the farm a little bit easier. That might be a pretty decent idea for that. But, hmm. Let me do some scanning real quick and uh, see if I can find what this is that I'm missing real quick. And I'll be right back. Also want to point out I'm taking y'all's suggestions and scanning all of my 
uh, machines here from Thermal Expansion. Um, also, these generators seem to help out as well. Crafting station. And holding shift seems to help out a lot. Better barrels. Igneous extruders. I think I already got the pulverizer. Redstone furnace. Item ducts. Nice. And I already got dirt. Heated redstone generator. That gives me a lot. A drum. Nice. Metalum. A regular portable tank. I have the hardened already scanned over there. Smell three. No go. Um, we already got the drum. Tool forge. No tool forge. No casting basin. All right, I'm going to keep scanning, guys. Just wanted to tell you guys about that. I'm going to keep running around scanning stuff. Ah, there we go. I just scanned my Thaumium Ho, and I think I just discovered a new aspect, and I think it was exactly what I needed. Um, all right, let's go check the research table just to make sure. Um, I've also went ahead and scanned a golden apple for Sano, and I think that was another one I have um, didn't have before. So you guys can see I still have a whole ton of stuff coming in <laughs> on the right side of the screen there. Lots of stuff. So yeah, there we go. That would be Meto or Mito. One of those two. Uh, <laughs> I hope. All right, so let's see. Instrumentum. And then Instrumentum is made out of... Humanus and Ordo, so we're going to have to go between that and, well, that one's actually, yeah, that'd just be super easy. Masses. Right? Oh, wait, no, 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 it'd be just Messus in those two. Ah, darn, I didn't get it back. That's all right. So Messus, Messus, and probably going to need another one right there. And then we just need the meto here, here, and here. That'll connect up that line. And then now what we gotta do is figure out how we're gonna get to Iter. So Iter. Let's see. Humanus, I think was no cognito. Bestia. Oh no, get out of there. <laughs> Bestia. Okay. Okay, maybe, maybe, just maybe, we might be able to get there with Modus to Iter. So Modus, so we know that we want to hook that up with Modus. Or actually, Terra. Hold on a minute. Terra might be easier. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What am I thinking? Oops. Drag there. Get our Terra, wherever it's at. It's hiding in here somewhere. There it is. And then Iter, yeah. So now we just have to hook it up. Let's do Saxum because we have a ton of it. And then Terra. There we go. Research completed. Golem Core of Harvest. Nice. So now we should be able to open up our Thaumonomicon. And we should have this, the Golem Core Harvest. Pretty easy to make. We just need some meto and some messes. So now I'm pretty sure we don't need an actual thomium ho to scan or use for meto. I'm pretty sure we can just use like a regular stone ho, I imagine. So I think that might be what I plan on doing next. Um, but at least we have the research completed for that. In fact, let's actually just maybe try out a regular golem real quick. So let's go grab some stuff for this. Um, what all are we going to need? I want to try at least just regular straw golem at least. Spiritus, Motus, and Humanus. Alright, so I'm thinking what? Soul Sand? That's just a quick way down for me. Um, soul Sand. So we got some Spiritus. We need four of those. Four Motus and four Humanus. Humanus. What would have Humanus on it? I guess in this case, we could go to our Thaumonomicon. Find Humanus. Uh-oh. Hmm. Ah! Rotten Flesh. That works. Alright, so we need some Rotten Flesh. How much of that do we actually need? Alright, we'll need four of that. Okay, so we need four of everything, but we need some Modus as well. And as far as Modus is concerned, I usually use... Hopefully, if it's still the same, 
trap doors. And that does not how you make a trap door. How about a boat? Can we do a boat? I haven't even scanned a boat yet. All right, let's scan a boat. Does this have modus? That actually does not have modus on it anymore. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, what has modus? No. It needs to be something moving, right? Did I do the hopper? Ah, there we go. We got the hopper. I need something with modus. All right, back to the Thaumonomicon then. Modus, modus. All right, I guess I actually have to have modus on the left side. There we go. All right, trap doors, pistons, doors. Doors would be fine. Doors are easy to make. And we'll put the boats away. Swap that out. How much does this have? Just one, so we need two more. What do I want to use? Sure, we'll use a little bit more spruce, why not? There we go. Plenty of doors. <laughs> Alright, then we just need some rotten flesh, which I should have in the kitchen. Yep, here we go. And that's one humanus, so we need four of those. Now all we need is some wheat. For that, I think we're just going to need nine. Because we need to make a hay bale. There we go. Uh, we also need a little bit of water. Probably be a good idea to get a source of water up there sometime soon. Or a cauldron. And there you go. Why don't you go ahead and heat up and do your thing. Come on. Come on, start bubbling. There you go. Perfect. All right, so we need four modus. There we go. Four rotten flesh. Four spiritus. And a hay bale. And there we go. We have our first straw golem. That's awesome. All right, now this guy is going to need some life. Some some sort of core. So I'm going to give him the golem core of harvest. So we need some messes. We need five messes and five meto. But we also need a regular... Golem animation core? A blank one. Wait a moment. Ah, there we go. Arcane workbench. And just need some bricks and nitor. There we go. Nitor, that thing's getting full already. Oh, well, we need some bricks. All right, while we're down here, good thing I got some of these cooked up. I'm going to go ahead and craft a hoe, a stone hoe. Wait, oh, I can't do that. Hmm, does it have to be an iron one? I don't know if you can actually do... Okay, good. Phew. See, I don't plan on using it. I just want to scan it. So we have three, so we might have a little excess. We're going to need one more of those. And then I think the rest we can actually just get from wheat. All right, so we have those two. Where's our Thaumonomicon? All right, I'm trying to actually get it ready for this. So we need five of that and then five messes. We can get that, I believe, like I said, from wheat. So I'm just going to grab five wheat. Let me throw that out. I'm going to scan wheat. All right, so we need three pieces of wheat. That should work. We'll get our core. Got an animation core set up here. Like this. There we go. Blank Golem animation core. <laughs> this, game, this thing's getting very, very full. So let's throw in two iron hose. And then we needed three pieces of wheat. Golem animation core. Uh, the blank one. And we get our animation core for harvest. There we go. So just to put them down and see... What he's like. I'm just going to place him down. Right clicking doesn't do anything. But if I put this on. Ah, he comes to life. Cool. 
All right, and last but not least, I think I'm gonna need this, the Golemancer spell. So we need some quartz, a stick, and five ordo. You stay right there, buddy. We're gonna try and maybe put you to use next episode, see what you are. Whoa, Fred's got a fishing rod. Watch out, oh, Fred, Fred. Fred, you're being mean. Don't you, Fred, stop it, okay. You wanted to do this? You wanna do this, Fred? We'll do this, you're lucky that missed. Silly Fred. Give me my arrows back. He's like, ooh, look at me, I'm a fisher guy. I like fishing. Don't you even think about it either. All right, so I need a little bit of quartz. Oh, I got some in here. Not surface quartz, I need regular quartz. You know what, let's just grab some of this. Oops, what am I doing? Just quickly, I know I can fortune this, but just really quick, I'm gonna grab this. I see you coming along. Get out of here. Ooh, another face. Got Fred's face. All right, we'll pop this into the arcane workbench because I think we need the Golemancer's bell in order to actually pick up the golem. So we need this. Oh, I had some nether quartz in my backpack. Eh, well, that's all right. There we go. Insufficient V. Pretty sure I got Gold banded one though. Should suffice. There we go. Golemancer's bell. Perfect. Let me swap those back out. So do I just right click on them? No. Shift right click? Left click. Ah, left click. Cool. And it retains the Golem animation core. Sweet. Alright, guys. Well, I think that's going to about finish off the day for us. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any helpful tips, tricks, or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section down below. If you guys would rate the video, I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, we'll see you guys then. Goodbye.